Hi guys, it's Colette, welcome back. Now, I wanted to do a review for you guys. I know not everybody who watches me um, buys high-end makeup or more expensive makeup. And for me, I like dabbling in both. I like ha having both high-end and drugstore because Believe me, Drugstore has stepped up their game tremendously. These brands are coming and they are, whew. And, I, and, and if you know anything by doing research, a lot of these makeup brands, they are all under the Estee Lauder umbrella. So when they come out with stuff in the, for the higher end in the, in the malls and such and those department stores, of course, they're gonna start up in their game to catch the people who are more drugstore oriented to say. So that being said, I'm not surprised that a, lot, that a lot of these brands have stepped up their game and they've been putting more thought into not just the quality of the makeup, but shade selections and options, giving everyone something because for a long time, it was like really crap. <laughs> now, saying that to say this, I really adore this Natasha Denona palette. I know it's a bit much, it's expensive, but I bought mine from Beautylish and I went the Beautylish route because I didn't feel like I wanted to throw down the money at one time at, at um, Sephora just because I was like, I know I can take it back, but if I order from Beautylish, not only do I get the chance to break up the payments, but if in case it doesn't work and I don't like it that much, the quality sucks or whatever, I can always take a send it back and then refund the short, the small amount of money I paid at first, right? So that's what I did with the Natasha Denona palette. That's how I bought this palette. And I am telling y'all, I was, very very pleased when it came now this y'all know i don't really like these things but this one really doesn't bother me even though it's perforated and i can take and pull it off i chose not to because it easily covers the mirror and then it's not in my way it's just a little bit of a nuisance when you're doing a video and you want to see the name for you to pull it down and, and look i did film a video for this quick eye look I did and that will be edited and posted for you guys but in the meantime and between time I wanted to give props to this palette I know I'm probably late because most of you probably seen it already but here's let me just say this maybe one of y'all never seen it before or you didn't really care to know about it because the people that talked about it were not people you trusted and that you watch often or you'd be like okay well maybe you got that in PR or whatever but I'm here to tell you if you've admired this palette and you are a neutral girl and you love these tones and shades of gold and brown what is not to like about this palette? The only thing I am gonna show you guys, you see the little flecks here? They're little flecks, and this is based on the texture of some of the shadows. There is not a lot of kickback when you put your brush into it. However, when you are working with the palette, it tends to get a little messy. You can see it on the black there and I like to take and wipe it off, but each time you use it, you will have this happen. So it looks a little bit messy when you open it, but it's, to me, it doesn't matter. And I think, let me give you, um, let me grab a brush real quick. I'm gonna just get a brush that I can do a few swatches for you guys. The texture of some of these shadows, they're like, not cream, but, smooth and soft i don't really don't know how to describe it but a lot of the bolder shades like this one this one this 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 over here down here they are more of a a softer creamier texture i'm just picking up lime chrome and i'm swatching it with a brush and you can see that if i do a 
you see that it is really a pretty color so if i do a finger swatch next to it it's so creamy the color y'all see look at that but it really lays down on the lid very very nicely there's not a problem i'm gonna slide down in the palette and get brass i'm just getting two the same thing two um swipes of the brush to pack it on that is brass now you can see them right very pretty and here's a finger swatch of brass see and you can use let me show you i used this brush to pack it on earlier on my lid and that's the lime chrome this first color and it really does a good job the colors are creamy and lovely i i don't know what else to say about them and the mattes the mattes really do blend well let me use this one see how it picks up on the brush this color is kava and i'm just gonna put kava down like that the brush is a little bit wet because i just cleaned it off and then let me dip my finger in the palette this is kava on my finger and look at that so whether brush or finger if you want to lay down with your finger or with a brush they really really perform let me grab finger this is a matte shade and it does come off pigmented also on your eyes this is one of the shades called dijon that see i just barely touched i didn't even swipe it yet this is dijon and this like that mustardy brown gold color and that's i have that in the crease area so look at that let me get a neutral shade that you can use sandstone this is sandstone just clean off my finger sandstone is like that see that and if I get a brush, I pick up sandstone, same thing. See, it's a little bit lighter with the brush, but when you're buffing it in, you can really build it up and it will just perform for you. So if you're into these nice, shiny, sparkly colors, personally, this is a good investment i do not regret spending my hundred and something dollars for this palette i kid you not i really really <laughs> i really like the palette and i have my eye on that sunrise palette because i don't own the sunset palette but i think i have a dupe of it um via youtube i i, I realized that i saw the palette on bad habit bought it only to find out that it's a dupe for the sunset palette but now she came out with a sunrise palette and i'm stoked i want it i really want it so i'm gonna get the other palette and the sunrise palette is less expensive than this one and i think it's a little smaller as well the only thing is like this is kind of blinding but it's okay it's gold all that glitters is gold so <laughs> yeah so this is the natasha denona gold palette i think the packaging is cute it's nice to travel with i would totally travel with this and you can just pretty much get away with doing neutral looks you can add your gold you can have you have a pop of color here you have a deeper blue here and oh look at that what's not to like about this palette so that being said i give this palette two thumbs up it's because it's in my color zone i really like how it performs it is pricey yes but at some there are times when you get what you pay for and in this case i paid for quality and i got quality and i'm happy with it and i have done a, a, some nice looks from the palette mind you um 
I wasn't filming back then, but I posted them to my Instagram. And here's another look that I, I just did. So I will continue to use my Natasha Denona palette and I will continue to like it until I get tired of it or something. <laughs> but that's it. That's Those are my thoughts on the Natasha Denona gold palette. So I don't know. It's up to y'all. Um, like I said, I did Beautylish in order to get it. So I wasn't hurting and I wasn't... I didn't feel like, oh, my breath's going to stop because I'm spending this much money on one palette. Because believe me, I've, I've spent more than that on things in Sephora in one go. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, if you let me know what your thoughts are. If you have the palette, do you really like it? Are you using it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you in between? Is there something you don't like about it? Let a girl know because I really like it and it's just my opinion. But thank you for watching and be kind to each other. Until the next video, enough love and walk good. Bye-bye.